Kim Kardashian Photoshop fail, Shane Dawson breaks silence, and bad news for vegans. All that and a lot, lot more, but first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin the Inform Overload Weekly Roundup. So first things first, let's talk about Shane Dawson breaking his silence on social media and hinting at a return to YouTube. Due to the fact that Shane was one of the OG YouTubers, he had built an audience of millions that genuinely enjoyed his content. In 2020, Shane faced a reckoning when his older content resurfaced and was deemed to be problematic. His apology video was wild as well because it included plenty of controversy that he had to address. From the bizarre cat video to a feud with the Smith family, Shane's last video apologized for all of it before he disappeared altogether. However, in February, despite saying that his career on YouTube was over, he hinted at making a return. Now he has broken his silence yet again in order to inform his fans about his future. Shane posted this photo to Instagram to his 8.7 million followers and said, Dad's left the house. P.S. I know I haven't posted a video in a long time and I promise it's not because I don't want to. I'm just trying to stay in a good mindset and be happy. I promise I'm not going to abandon my channel after 15 years of creating. Just been reevaluating my life the last year and figuring out what I want to do with it. Life is short and I'm grateful for every second of it. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. It's not clear right now if Shane will make a follow-up video to address his controversial past or if he will try to act like nothing happened. However, judging by this caption, it looks like he's going to try and just play this one off. But we want to hear what you all think about this in the chat right now. And while you do that, let's send it over to Jared for some science. I get it. Thanks, Johnny. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Pepper, and today we're leaving the sports on the back burner, even though there's a huge UFC card this weekend I'd love to talk about. <laughs> well, and that's okay because today's focus, you guys already know what today's focus is all about. We're throwing the sports off to the side. Today we are talking all about science, baby. Let's go. Mm. Now, if you're a vegan or support the idea of a vegan diet, well, don't shoot the messenger. I know people have very strong opinions for or against, and if you've been watching me for a while, you let me know I really don't care, as I believe everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So naturally, I'm sure there will be tons of arguments in the comments down below, but leave me out of it. Unless you're defending me. Then batter up, baby. Just give her a goal. All right, I'm joking. On a more serious note here, guys, a recent study has led to some evidence. Children who are raised on certain strict vegan diets actually grew up with weaker bones and aren't as tall when compared to those who maintained an average diet, for lack of a better word. The UCL's Great Ormond Street Institute of Child Health are responsible for the study, which has since been published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And it determined a link between children on a strict vegan diet and a deficiency in B12 and vitamin D. Better drink some of that sunny D. More specifically, the study featured 187 healthy 5 to 10 year olds from Poland to see how their bodies would be impacted by different diets over the years. The research and data collected was focused on their physical growth, cardiovascular health, nutrients, and more. Turns out the children on the vegan diet would need vitamin D and B12 supplements to make up for the lack of said vitamins they get from not eating meat. Other observations made include that on average, the children on the vegan diet were actually 3 centimeters shorter, had weaker bones, and were more prone to osteoporosis as they got older. Lead author on the study, Professor Professor Jonathan Wells spoke on how it's great that people are concerned for the environment and climate change, therefore actively switching to a more earth-friendly diet. On the flip side, and I quote him, Until now, research into the health impact of these diets on children has been largely limited to assessments of height and weight and conducted only in vegetarian children. Our study provides a substantial insight into the health outcomes in children following vegetarian and vegan diets. We found that vegan children had lower bone mass even after accounting for their smaller body and bone size. This means they may enter adolescence, a phase when bone specific specific nutrient needs are higher, with a bone deficit already established. If such deficits are caused by a diet that persists into adolescence, this might increase the risk of adverse bone outcomes later in life. However, there's a little more to be covered when it comes to this study. It turns out the vegan children had 25% lower levels of the bad cholesterol, LDL, which when created in high levels in the body can cause cholesterol to build up or potentially block your arteries, which that's not a, we don't like that. In comparison, vegetarian children had worse cardiovascular health when compared to vegan children. However, it's believed that the sugary and processed foods vegetarians eat could be linked between the drastic difference in each diet's outcome. And that, my friends, is some science. Let's go, baby. Just want to say, if you guys, you know, I'm not a vegan and that's why. I'm just kidding. At the end of the day, a balanced diet is important, but we're all unique. So you guys got to find what works best for you and your body and just keep doing that. It's a work in progress all the time. Back to Johnny. Thanks for those updates, Jared. Now let's move on to some feel good news, shall we? When COVID hit, things certainly became difficult for those single people out there who were just trying to look for love in this crazy world. With social distancing and very limited in person interactions, dating during COVID turned out to be a big challenge for most people. Although, when 95 year old John Schultz, a widower twice over, met Joy Morrow Melton, who had also lost two previous spouses, he was completely smitten, and luckily, Joy felt the same way. Even with COVID making things difficult, these upstate New York lovebirds continue to pursue this mutual attraction to one another. 
other. While speaking with Steve Hartman from CBS for their On the Road segment, John told Steve that even though it was a pain in the neck to see her, she was worth it. Eventually, once they both received their vaccinations and with restrictions easing up, the pair were finally able to spend more time together. And with John being an old-fashioned gentleman, he decided to propose to his 95-year-old girlfriend. Joy, of course, said yes, and they both wed in a recent ceremony. When asked what the key to his dad and new stepmom's successful romance was, John's son Pete said, Perseverance, he told Hartman. They'd call every day, they'd find a way to get together, they did whatever it took. And I absolutely love this story and I'm so happy that we could share for our feel good news. A big congrats to the happy new couple and with that though, let's send it over to the Spill Zone with Mackenzie. Thanks Johnny. So today on the Spill Zone, we're gonna be talking about yet another Kardashian Photoshop fail. Kim Kardashian is now facing backlash for allegedly editing her waist in a Skims campaign ad, even though she claims no edits were made. And here we go again with this family denying editing their pictures. Like, come on, we all know. Like, it's not a secret. <laughs> The moment is from a close up shot of Kim dragging her finger across her waist while feeling the underwear that she's gonna be selling. And when the finger is dragging across, her finger gets distorted, making it pretty obvious that her waist was edited to be smaller. A slow mo video of the distortion is now going viral online. The comments on the post are all mocking the decision, with people saying the family creates these unnatural beauty standards, but they can't even keep up with them themselves. Another theorized this whole thing could just be a publicity stunt, actually on purpose to create press for the launch. And Honestly, if that's the case, I mean, that is kind of genius because we're talking about it. Following all the backlash, Kim's team claimed that it was just a quote, uploading glitch. And it happened after the video lost some of its quality in the upload process. And listen, I don't know anything about tech, but I'm not sure why just one small area of the video would glitch if it was actually an upload error, like it would affect the entire video, right? Apparently a glitch free version of the ad has now taken its place online. Kim hasn't commented on the situation, but apparently a source close to her team said that Kim specifically requested that her waist not be edited in the video and it was actually just a glitch. So like a lot of things to do with the Kardashians, we will probably never know the truth of the matter and it's in the eye of the beholder if they think it was edited or not. I pretty much have no doubt that it was edited, but hey, that's just my opinion. Now back over to Johnny to wrap things up. Thanks so much for those updates, Mackenzie. Well folks, that has been today's show, but before we get out of here, let's check out some of your comments from our last weekly roundup. Jason says, I just tried to search Dr. Fauci email in form overload and I couldn't find your page or this video at all, but I searched just inform overload and it showed up right away. Damn, are we getting shadow banned? Well, I guess just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, that way you know whenever we post new videos. Savage Breath says, I thought the doctor and Lana were related in this situation. I get how the title can be confusing like that, but uh, fortunately they were not. Stevie Love says, I highly doubt Mike is the father. He's been using her name for clout since they got together and continued to do so after the breakup. My only hope is that her baby is happy and healthy. We wish for the exact same thing. We also wish for Mike to find a new clout chasing name. All for Fun says, as a boxing fan, I lost all my respect for Floyd Mayweather because of this fight. I mean, I feel like a lot of people did because he's the greatest of all time and he lost to, lost. He got, I don't want to say he won. The fact that Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather went eight rounds, that's a win for Logan Paul. The fact that Logan Paul didn't get knocked out, that's a win for Logan Paul. You cannot say that Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer of all time, greatest defensive boxer of all time, I'll give you that. Sonnet Nunya says, we can't get away from the virus, humans are the virus. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. But for now, guys, that has been today's show. Big thanks to Jared Bronstein, Mackenzie Smith, and our editing god, Daniela, for all of her hard work. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try. All right. <laughs> a recent study has led to some certain, uh... On a more serious note, guys, here, I... I ha! To make up for the lack... Ah! All right, it's fine. Welcome to the Weekly Roundup, everyone! And I absolutely love this story, and I'm so happy that we could share it for our feel good news section. Our section. <laughs> Try that again. I'm All right, is this my first roundup back in the studio? It might be my second. It might be my second, actually. Oh, damn, I should have been like, first roundup back in the studio, but it's actually my second. Oh, oh and a saw. Three hours later. <laughs> you see what we put up with? Okay, just give me a second, because the fact that I just committed to that and I said it properly, that's what we call a fucking pat on the fucking back, baby. Let's go.